As I continue to try to break down the truth behind Britney Spears and her conservatorship, one question keeps coming up. Was Kevin Federline responsible for any of it? Should we be angry at him? Britney's former manager, Sam Lupfi, says no. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. Now, I know a lot of Britney fans are going to go, whoa, 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 Andy, you can't trust Sam. But I ask you, please take a moment, take a breath. Let's hear him out. Because if you don't know who Sam is, Sam was there when it all went down. Sam is who Britney's parents pegged as the reason for needing this conservatorship that Britney had thrown herself into this guy who was taking control of her life and drugging her and everything, all this awful stuff. And the reality is, as we now know the truth of things, sure seems like Jamie and Lynn were the ones who were really trying to actually take control. Sam was trying to help her, I believe it. I spoke to Sam for several hours last night, uh, an exclusive interview that I'll be dishing out some things I've learned throughout that conversation in the coming week. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, you better do so now. You're not going to miss this stuff. It's going to be awesome. It's important. Uh, but look, Sam was the one they blamed. And so now that we hear all this information, it's hard to not second guess what we were thinking by and what we we're being told by the media. I, I really do think Sam had Britney's best intentions. Uh, and if you go back and watch some of the old videos of Sam back in the day, here's Sam in 2010 saying there's nothing wrong with Britney. Uh, I don't know what she was thinking at the time. Are, are you guys going to, uh, I'm going to cross. Are you guys getting, <laughs> no, get, you guys getting hit by They're asking yeah, about the, the, the head shaving uh, yeah, again. No, it's, uh, no, I, I think she was just expressing her independence and her freedom, yeah. which uh, hopefully she'll get the chance to do again. Cool. Sometime soon. All right. There's nothing wrong with Britney. She's, she's awesome. Yeah. Doesn't need this thing. Oh, I love it. Nothing wrong with Britney. She's awesome. This is in 2010, implying I hope she get. you know, she was expressing her freedom, and I hope she gets it again soon. And then here he is in 2019. He never wavered on did this. girl do wrong? She never harmed anybody. She never threatened a soul. So for this to happen and to get this type of conservatorship and to threaten her with her children, and if she doesn't follow orders, they'll take her kids away. Uh, it's When does somebody kind of wake up and question this? I mean, so he was asking this question all along. He was one of the only ones out there who was close to her, who was challenging, biting the hand that feed, you know, that was feeding all these people, keeping this going, right? So look, the more I look into him, the more I, 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 I open my eyes to hear him out. And in fact, it was Ronan Farrow's article where he, he spoke about a lot of this. I really opened my eyes even further and prompted me to DM and sort of get in touch with him. Uh, and I'm glad I did because I do think he has a lot of insight. Uh, in this article as well is where they talked about Kevin Federline and where my issues with Kevin sort of came from. It really did feel like, what was this custody thing happening? Why was Kevin being so stingy on the custody? There's a, there's a, a, a portion in this interview where they talk about how she was like a couple minutes late. And then the cops are literally there while she's sort of in this bathroom, which is unlocked. And they stor you know, storm the whole place, copters there, police reporters going nuts. Uh, because she was late and didn't give the kids right away. And I thought, man, for Kevin to do that, that's awful. Well, I learned it wasn't Kevin who was doing that. It wasn't Kevin, apparently, who was doing that. According to Sam, the one to blame isn't Kevin. No, the one to blame is Kevin's attorney, Mark Kaplan. Now, is Mark Kaplan in cahoots with anything? No, I don't know. We don't have proof of that. I'm not alleging that. I don't know. Anything's possible, I guess. Uh, so I want to be careful what I say here. But it seems very clear to Sam that Mark Kaplan was the one who was out there doing this. Now, the relationship I learned between Kevin Federline and Mark Kaplan is that, look, Mark was a really important lawyer, a pit bull lawyer that Kevin Federline needed to sort of make sure everything got paid for, the house, the kids, etc. cetera. Uh, and uh, Mark Kaplan would tell him, not to have direct contact with Britney. Uh, and uh, he would sort of like, oh, I can't talk to her because I'm not allowed. Kevin Farrelly just followed the orders of the lawyer to keep the ship moving and stay out of trouble and just do what he wants to do. To quote Sam, look, Kevin Federline, naive but not nefarious. And I think that really explains a lot. Uh, you know, passive, he said, you know, clearly stoner, uh, but a really good dad and a good guy. Uh, and he also just was like, look, I just don't think he's, he's, he's that you know, smart enough, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but like smart enough to make all this happen, like to plan this master plan that's not in him. Um, and so the more I looked into it and the more I, I, I looked into Kevin Federline based off of Sam's recommendation that Kevin is not the bad guy everyone's painting him out to be. Um, 
what was happening was they were threatening to take her kids away, which is something that really sparked with me and why I got more passionate about this story. And, I, and it's, it's in this article from Ronan Farrow, which if you haven't read in The New Yorker, I highly encourage you do. Uh, but they would take the kids away for months. And according to Sam, Sam's thinking, from what Sam knew and what Sam was there, Kevin wasn't part of it. Kevin was just believing what he was told by the lawyers, by Mark. And Mark himself was very close to Jamie. Now, no, learning that, that's when things, light bulbs went off and everything. I thought, well, there, there's, there's clearly more in this story than we know. Uh, so, so here, let's, let's break down the, his, the timelines of things I can find with Kevin Federline. Should we stop focusing our anger at KFED right now? Uh, Kevin Federline wants Britney Spears to be healthy, happy, says lawyer. The kids love their mother. If any of the conservatorship is what's best for her, Kevin supports it. Uh, Mark uh, Kaplan tells People as he shares that Jamie's relationship with her with the boys, uh, ca- uh, a- as he shares that Jamie's relationship with the boys can be restored. Now, there's a lot to unpack in the story and timeline of what happened between the boys, Kevin, Jamie, etc. But as I read all of it, uh, this was the most important one I want to put out there, and I do think Kevin was part of this. The best thing would be for their mom to be healthy and happy. And if either of those things aren't true, it doesn't provide for the best setting for custody to be exercised, says Kaplan. Uh, Kevin certainly respects Brittany and only hopes the best for her because the best for her is achieved. It's the best for their kids. Facts. The kids love their mother and he was once there to be a healthy, strong relationship. Uh, Kaplan feels that Brittany has not been served well by the conservatorship and it's not consistent with what she wants. He adds, I think that she should be able to challenge that. If that's what's best for her, Kevin supports it. Now, this all seems great, right? Oh, cool. Mark Kaplan and, and uh, Kevin Federline are on the same page, huh? Well, let's rewind a bit. Let's rewind a bit, okay? So here's 2008. Mark Kaplan said client Kevin Federline approves of the expanded visitation rights Britney Spears was recently given to the couple's two toddler sons, but did not say whether Federline is thinking about reconciling with his famous ex. Kids are doing great, Kaplan said. Uh, they are too, they are about to, they are able to have a normal life. So here's an interesting piece from 2008, which acknowledges that Kevin Federline, through his lawyer, was totally granting Britney more time with the kids. This is something Sam was able to confirm as well. Kevin wasn't against giving access you know, the lawyers were that incident in the in the house where the cops all came. Kevin gave her extra time. It was the lawyers who showed up. And when it was five or 10 minutes later, when they made the deal and, and there's a reason why we got to keep going, we got to keep digging. Well, as we keep digging, uh, this was July 2008. Kevin Federline conservators, Jamie Spears and Andrew Wallet came to an agreement that Jamie Spears shall be the monitor during Britney's visitation among powers. Granted, he had the power to terminate any visitation conservators shall be present and shall monitor at all times petitioners visit and shall immediately terminate a visitation in the event that petitioner is inappropriate with the minor children conservator may further cancel or terminate a visitation in his discretion now look should kevin have read this more carefully and and protected britney to maybe not have it be this harsh sure maybe was he educated enough to know the legalese of the entire you know 50 page contract and all of its points Maybe not. Was he just doing what he was told? Probably. Um, But this is very telling. So this this only confirms what I heard from Sam, which was that Kevin wasn't the one calling and saying, get the kids back. No, it was the lawyers. And it was the lawyers through Jamie. That's where things get even more intense for me. And as this as this thread comes in, uh, more the, the, it appears that the conservatorship was needed for Britney to be granted visitation access to her kids by appointing Jamie as a conservator and monitor. Pretty much made it impossible for Britney to fight the conservatorship or Jamie as a conservator without risking losing visitation. This is crucial, guys. It's rumored that Jamie has taken away the kids from Britney sometimes, even without Kevin Federline's knowledge. A few times when she was acting bad, someone recalls Jamie taking them away for the whole weekend after her, he and Britney argued, and she told him he was the devil in person. As for Mark Kaplan saying that they might seek for an evaluation if the conservatorship were to end, it's part of the agreement he made with Jamie Spears and Andrew Wallet. So here's Mark Kaplan allowing this in the event that the petitioner seeks to, you know, basically if if it ends, anything ends, they they are allowed. Petitioner shall incorporate and submit a psychiatric assessment to a psychiatric designation 730 evaluator. Petitioner shall pay the cost, yada, yada. So basically they put it in there that even if this were to end, you still have to go do this uh, to basically protect themselves. So Mark Kaplan could easily say no. This is Jamie now requesting this. This is, this is how nefarious and deep all this stuff goes, which just makes me so angry. 
Uh, do we believe the kids' safe, uh, the kids' safety and well-being were a priority when the chosen monitor is a known violent alcoholic, one that ended up with a restraining order against him after he allegedly engaged in a conduct that was physically abusive towards his grandson? I, why, how are they ignoring this? How are they ignoring this? This has been going on for so long. Guys, this was 2008. 2008. <clears throat> and then he's continuing to be, do these things. So, I, But l let's, let's continue, right? Let's continue, right? Federline's lawyer, full recovery, reports premature. So here at December 2020, now, now I, I, I want to go back and remind you, right? Reflecting on it, Kaplan feels that Brittany has not been served well by the conservatorship and is not consistent with what she wants. Ah, well, here he is. Here's, here's the same guy. December 2020, well, you know, urges restraint when it comes to news about the pop star. Jamie's doing a really good job, Mark says. There was a situation that seems to be stabilized. Does that mean she's cured? Of course not. Hmm. Kaplan has noticed that Spears' negative press has diminished noticeably and that her successes from the appearances, How I Met Your Mother, reports Tuesday that she's working again with former manager Larry R Rudolph, uh, making news. I, I hear he's not the greatest either. Are uh, making news right now. He calls Jamie steps. He calls Jamie Spears steps to improve Britney's well-being and diffuse her once tumultuous, tumultuous lifestyle. Smart, adding that obviously before Jamie, it wasn't a question of what was going to happen. It was when. Healthy, happy Spears is something that Federline has always yearned for. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I look forward to what time I can, I, I can be bored and not worry about all this. So here's Kaplan in 2020, December 2020, backing up the conservatorship and saying Jamie's good. Questionable, right? All this doesn't add up and only adds to what I heard from Sam that, look, he's just not in the know. He wasn't in the know. He just is doing what he's told, protecting his kids, trying his best wants the best for Britney, wants things to be normal. Look, he, anybody wants to have t personal time. When you have the kids 100%, you don't get to go out and do as much. Of course you want your, your, your kids to have their other parent in their life. And then so you can go out and do some things or go work once in a while when you need to. Of course parents want to do that. So this idea that he wanted to keep them forever, the more I think about it, 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 just, it doesn't make sense. Now, there's, a, there, there's more you can go and find this. Here, here is his, uh, attorney weighs in on Britney Spears' conservative in 2021. Also, I think Kevin feels that there needs to be a lot of commotion going on right now. He trusts that the probate court is going to make the orders that they feel appropriate to protect Britney and her estate. So here's Kaplan making all these statements on behalf of Kevin Federline, which I even wonder, are they even come from Kevin Federline or is just the lawyer just become so used to just speaking on his behalf and Kevin's just sort of known, like, whatever, I'm not getting involved. Just, just make sure everything's good and I'm getting paid and the kids are getting paid and we're, we're everyone's safe. Do we got to do is really what it feels like was happening while Mark Kaplan's out there just speaking on his behalf, defending the, the, the Jamie, defending the conservatorship up until 2021. So then comes this. This is a big one. Now, I got more on this story, but I'm going to hold on to it for a little bit more about what actually happened here because I really want to be careful about reporting on our kids because I think there is a line we got to be careful as reporters. But there's a story here I'm going to get to at some point, one or another. But the bottom line is, one of Britney's kids called out the grandfather, Jamie, and uh, some awful stuff went down. Awful stuff went down, and the, and the, the, the grandson, the, Britney's son herself, said it on an Instagram Live, calling him out and basically saying how awful he was. Now, there was also some action there that's unacceptable. Uh Restraining orders were filed, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, somehow, nothing happened. No charges were pressed. And then, uh, you know, the lawyer's like, look, we're handling the fallout from the sun, from the, from the rant. Not about what happened. Not about what Jamie did. Jamie somehow just got a whole pass on all of that. Apparently, I would think there would have been investigations done on this accusation, but somehow Mark Kaplan's out there doing damage control. It feels like for Jamie and blaming the kid of, oh, yeah, just, you know, the rant. This is 13 year olds acting like 13 year olds. Kevin's handling it like a responsible parent. Uh, look, the more and more I look into this, the more I really don't, you know, was it perfect? I'm sure. Is any relationship ever perfect? No. But from what I gathered from talking to Sam, Brittany and Kevin really were in love. And then we're sad when it, when it ended and, have, and, and wanted to make sure that their kids were taken care of and, and safe. Now, did Brittany want more time? Yes. But was it Kevin who was keeping that time from her? I don't think so anymore. 
Now, if anybody else has more information to add to this, please send it my way. But the more I look at this from the insight I got from Sam and then doing my own due diligence, it really does feel like Mark Kaplan was the one who was making more of these moves in a bigger move to please Jamie and the broader conservatorship. Because Jamie and everybody knew if we can control the custody, we can control it all. Because that's what kept Brittany going. And that's why this story is so important that we keep getting it out there. Because think about that for a second. How awful is that? Imagine if parents out there, you couldn't see your kids. They, were, they held your kids from you to say, well, if you don't behave, if you don't do the test, if you don't do this evaluation, we're going to pull the kids. And then he did. And then he legally had say to say, look, I can terminate your visitation whenever I want. Now, one could argue, why didn't Kevin Federline step up and make this clear and, and, and do more sniff around to figure things out? Look, they're divorced. He's being told things. He maybe doesn't want to get involved. I don't know. I guess you could have an issue with him in that guard. But from what I'm told from people inside, no, Kevin Federline was not out there trying to make this be a thing. Kevin was not trying to destroy anybody. Kevin was just trying to get, move on, make sure things were paid for, and make sure his kids, his boys, were taken care of. Uh, so the more I heard that, the more I've paused to answer the question of, I don't know if he's to blame. I don't think he is. Now, again, all this is still developing. We have more as it comes. But I want to thank Sam for that insight, and I want to thank you guys for watching. Again, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Please do. Lots more coming. Uh, hit the bell for all alerts. So you actually get notified. YouTube doesn't always do it. Smash that like button and leave your thoughts down below. Let's keep the conversation going. I appreciate all of you guys who are watching. You can only keep this going. If you guys support, subscribe, et cetera, maybe you guys would consider joining. Uh, we have live streams and lots of exclusive content coming your way. You're not going to miss it. Thank you guys so much for supporting this channel. And don't forget, hashtag... Free Britney.